Hey everybody, my name is Wellens and we are checking out The Occupation today, a fixed time investigative thriller set in the Northwest England in 1887. Investigative thriller, that's cool, everybody likes those. Fixed time. Apparently what this means is events happen in real time, so one minute in the game is equal to one minute in real life. People are going to be doing things whether we're there to witness it or not. My first thought is that this sounds really intriguing, but I also worry a little bit because I have a tendency of just standing on a spot and talking for 20 minutes without doing anything. So depending on how this game is, maybe we'll have to cut back on that kind of thing. But um, because of this real-time mechanic, there is going to be different things that we can do at different times and it seems like there is going to be different outcomes and endings and approaches. The story seems to be that, uh, well, we're in Northwest England in 1987 and an explosion has happened which has triggered the government to enact some sort of a controversial act which in the name of protecting the city and the people are taking away people's freedoms at the same time. It sounds like there's some political themes here. We'll jump right in. Have you done? Scarlet, please sit down. Sit down? Do you think taking my children's going to stop me? Stop you from doing what exactly? Where did you take them? This is far more important right now. More important We than... need stability. The country needs stability, and this act provides that. Uh, work with me. This and... country needs its freedom. Michael wouldn't have agreed to this. He's the one that started this act, and he did it. Michael! is dead. This country is a far different place than it was three years ago, Scarlet. There's rioting in the streets, for God's sake. We need tighter security now more than ever. People on our doorstep want to hurt us. I, I can't allow that. That's not your decision to make. The people need to know that their government is lying to them. And you can't threaten me into silence on this. You can't see this right now, but you don't have another choice here. Charles? Open the file. Scarlett Carson and Charles Bowman. I think we're a journalist. Sounds like we work for the government, though. Either way, I suppose. I did what I thought was right at the time. That's all anyone can do, isn't it? Oh. What was in the file? Mullen was terrible at remembering to lock windows. I wonder if he ever realized his role in all of this. Are we investigating in somewhere already? Clearly, we're playing a Scarlet. Okay, we got an ID card for the Bowman building, Alex Dubois. As you're all aware, the files on the Silhouette server contain highly confidential files that cannot be leaked at the Union Act press event tomorrow. Please keep security tight and stay vigilant. Tick Silhouette disk from Charles Bowman's office and insert into the server. Oh, in Alex Dubois' workshop. Okay, I have the password. Um, okay, I see. Uh, it seems like the fixed timeness has already immediately started. Somebody was talking behind me. 
Am I exempt from this if I have this open right now? I guess we'll have to hurry up. Am I allowed to be seen? I don't get the feeling that's the case. There's a guard here. Change ID. I only have one. Swipe down. No floppy disks detected. Key cards were beginning to restrict everyone's access. What? Having the correct level of security clearance was important. No floppy disks detected. Gotta be fast. Does that mean that we can't get the card back? Grab handle. All these little options here. Maybe it just dictates how fast and how slowly we do things. Because if we're in a hurry, we might want to smash the window or something. What, again? Don't worry, maintenance are going to be on it first thing in the morning. If it trips again, just leave it. No need us running up and down the stairs every ten minutes for false alarm. Okay, that. Makes my life easier anyway. That's not me telling you to take a break. You still have a job to do. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. No problem. I'll be in the lobby if you need me. I didn't quite get the... Clue. We got a clue. Security will not be alerted to Charles Bowman's office if the fuse box is turned off. Ah, that's what we learned from the conversation, not the magazine. I thought we learned it from the magazine. Yeah, I don't think we need to pick that up. <laughs> fuse box. Oh. Hey. Can I read it? No, this is the same the same paper I've been reading the whole time. What was that paper that I just picked up? Oh, I guess I'm still not used to the controls because I'm not sure how to how to read it. Can I find out right now? Keyboard. If there's ever a spot that I want to talk a lot at, I guess I can use the pause menu a bit because we don't want to mess with the time too much by taking too long talking, do we? Okay. If I want to read the document again, is a briefcase? Maybe? No. This is my assignment. Yeah, okay. Whatever then. <laughs> uh, I can take erasers, apples, or teacups? <laughs> oh! Oh, I have- I can swap it. Pre-union act. People were still researching union law. Too little, too late. All rights to legal representation regarding the individual, but not limited to the individual, may be suspended for up to 20, 48 hours. Grace period. I guess it's saying that if you get arrested, then you can't get a lawyer for up to 48 hours. Because usually, you'd be able to get a lawyer immediately to protect yourself, right? But it's saying no. For the first two days, you don't get that. Which seems like a loss of human rights and what they were talking about in the beginning, huh? I guess I'll take it. I can only have one item on me, it seems. I'm sort of speed reading through it because I'm kind of conscious of the time. If you can't tell already, I'm quite on edge right now. Uh, token tray. Cigarettes. I don't have any tokens, I can't get any cigarettes. There's no tokens in it. Okay. Oh! Right here. But do we know what cigarettes we want? Maybe I'll save the token for now, cause if we get a wrong cigarette- I'm guessing we can bribe somebody or something? I have no clue. Hmm. Okay, all right. So there's nobody here for now. The person left. Girl, you're gonna need 
Protect your future. You're Britain. Bowman Carson. And the guard patrol was quite loose at the facility, at least before, before all of this. They wouldn't be back anytime soon. Good. Oh, I still have the card here, don't I? Okay, well, we'll have a quick look around first. I don't have a very good grasp of how much time I can spend just dawdling right now. It seems like every action takes time. So it's kind of about, do you want to invest the time to do this or not? So we can go somewhere there. It might be a good idea because even though we have ID cards to go to places, that leaves a paper trail, doesn't it? Fuse box! The fuse box in the main hall is connected to Charles Bowman's office, which we can turn off, right? Is it gonna leave a... There we go. It's off now, but do we want to turn everything off? Because that would alert people pretty quickly, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll just turn off everything? For a closer look? Oh, okay. Yeah, this might not be a good idea. Maybe I'll just turn off the Charles one? I'm spending so much time here doing nothing. If a room can only be accessed by the ID card, and you turn off the electricity, then that's not gonna work, is it? Sounds of the bloody 60s, 70s and today. That jingle would plague me for months afterwards. Can I... Oh. This is really a good time for me to be playing with a radio. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. I'm guessing this links to the other vent? Maybe? Nothing in here... Not too much overall. Mm. What's that sound? Nothing. His office is already here. Everything I needed was on that cartridge. The fate of a nation in ones and zeros. He would have understood. Sometimes I wonder if I'm just telling myself that, but... He would have understood. Charles, Alex Dubois is furious. He's not doing any more work on Silhouette until you sort out the mess with his family. I'll leave the floppy disk with you. Please do something. The mess with his family? Okay. Well, we got what we came here for, right? Take the disk from Charles Bowman's office and insert it into the server in Alex Dubois' workshop to transfer files. <laughs> I guess I'm taking that. This Charles guy is my boss, right? He seems pretty prominent, politically. One Britain, one people, one vote. Yes. See, this doesn't work because the the lights are off. Uh, I can press it, but I don't know what the code is. If I turn it off, I mean, if I turn it on, the security is going to be alerted. I don't have a phone number. Oh, I guess we can close the blinds? There's so many little things here that we can do. I feel a little bit overwhelmed. All these miscellaneous items. 
Okay, well, uh, we got what we came here for, so I think we should go. So something about going to Alex Dubois server. If you go past the gate, the data gets wiped? I heard somebody here. Coffee. Is this the gate? Because I have a floppy disk on me right now. I would not want it to get wiped, right? I missed a phone call from Michael that night. We must have just missed each other's calls. Not to worry. Uh, look, I'm heading across to the Meta Center. Apparently, there's something to do with one of the servers malfunctioning. But I'm sure it's nothing too serious. Anyway, I'll try and call again soon. Okay. Love you. I should have. I, I wish. Michael? You have one new message. Message one. Hey, Ali. Uh, we must have just missed each other's calls. Not to worry. Uh, I'm guessing he died in the bombing. Uh, He's not here anymore. Center. Apparently, there's something. I don't have to sneak here, right? Servers malfunctioning. I'm sure it's nothing too serious. Anyway, I'll try and call again soon. Okay. Alex. Love you. I've just been notified by the system that you've set the Silhouette server password in the Bowman building to Spuff7. I must insist you change this, as it will be easy for someone to guess for anyone that knows about your family. Please destroy this document once you've updated your password. Which I have stolen! This is a freaking. It's to Alex, but it's on my desk. Huh. He didn't destroy it. <laughs> okay. The days before all this nonsense began. Simpler times. My husband, maybe? Oh, there's a Scrabble thing. Or, um, <laughs> a Scrabble. Etch a sketch. Crumpled note. Uncrumple. Oh, I can't really read it. I took it. I took it, but how do I... <laughs> I feel like I keep running into this problem where I don't know how to... Um... Yeah, I'll take it. And then how do I freaking pull it up? <laughs> Why don't I know how to do this? Okay, well, I think the floppy disk is what we need, so... We'll... We'll take that. Uh, the system is a bit confusing. And I'm freaking out about spending too much time doing any one thing, because... How much does the time matter? I don't know. If we crumpled it up, maybe it was something that caused distress to us. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, it's the, it's a, uh, for the projector. Projected design costs for the Union Act campaign. Okay. The Union Act. Give us back our security. Create immigrant jobs. Allow us to control the borders. Okay. I'm still kind of curious about that crumpled note. <laughs> Can we really not... I'll try once more. If I take it, and then... I don't want to just take it, you know? I want to read it? I can't seem to uncrumple it anymore. Okay, whatever. Whatever then. I'll take the disc. And there is a security gate here. But the data disc content will be wiped if we go past it, right? Oh, it's not even working. And maybe this guy can't... He can't go past this area anyway? 
Purple. High security access. Alex. Is that the picture that was on my... On my desk? No, that was a different guy. Well, we're stuck here. Unless if we want to just freaking dive down there. Oh, technical director. Here we go. This has got to be what we're looking for. Hi, Marlin. Sorry I had to nip out for the day. I shouldn't really be doing this, but Charles Bowman's door code is 5959. Oh, see, if we didn't turn off the fuse, then we could use this code. If you leave your completed work form on my desk, I'll get it signed off first thing in the morning. What we can do is turn the fuse back on and then try to walk in and use some of his electronics, I guess. So this guy was a technical director. Oh. There's bugs for this silhouette program. Can't remove user once added. Charles says this isn't an issue. <laughs> of course not, we don't care about privacy. <laughs> Backing up information without switching off all circuits on the system causes a failure. Is that what we're trying to do? <laughs> One block. oh my god, what is this detail? The Silhouette server housed hundreds of files on the Union Act. Um, immigrant families, voting preferences, you name it. Mm -hmm. A server can be found in Alex Dubois' workshop. Right. I want to put in the disk, but before we do this, do you want to really quickly just go back to that guy's office and... We'll see... Was it down on this floor? No, it was one floor above. What I'll try doing is... I'll flip this back on. We good here? And... Investigate type pad. Five nine, five nine. Oh, because I also need a card. Please enter pin. Really? Bowman was a careful man. Even back then. Accepted. Access granted. I mean, it's already open. But is there something new that's opened here? Access denied. Incorrect ID. There's something special here. Something else. You have two new messages. Message one. Charles, I had a look into the security concern that you were asking me about, and it turns out you might be onto something. So, you know, don't, don't do anything rash. You know, give me a call. Let's talk about this. And uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye for now. Message two. Charles is Michael. My guys down here are getting pretty agitated about this whole Alex thing. You know, last time we spoke, you said you had it all sorted. I'm not pointing fingers or anything, but maybe we should have a meeting tomorrow morning just discuss this or... Yeah, uh, I don't know. Just call me first thing. End of messages. Unfortunately, no solid clues here. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? Staff cannot override safe. Enter code, wait two minutes, rotate dial, turn handle. Uh, it's not 5959, is it? Because we already used that for the door. So are you gonna... If I'm wrong, will you get mad? Correct. T to set timer. 
Uh. Okay. I guess we come back here in two minutes and see what's up. He used the same password for his door and the safe. I'm not sure if doing the floppy disk thing just ends the section or not, so I guess I'll have a look around in the meantime. Ah! Oh. So we could have gone this way to get to the safe instead. What about this one? Or uh, was it this one? We opened another event elsewhere, right? This one. I don't know how the set timer works. Am I expected to remember the time myself and then... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, does this go to Alex's office? Kind of stuck here. Here we go. Yeah, Alex's office again. Okay. But we don't really have to be this high up. If we can walk down, that would be amazing. Can I not walk down? Seriously? It won't really let me... Yeah, I'm just sort of like hanging on the edge here. Hmm. What's going on? Do I have to be like this? I guess I'll go back up this way. It's a little clunky, isn't it? Sometimes I just want to do something, but it won't really let me do it properly. Anyway, if we- oh, we've never been here. We can't go here, even though this guy is a technical director. Some of the lifts were temperamental. You'll have to learn your way around when you're there. Didn't work. Okay. Is the safe open now? Oh, and meanwhile, like, can we find something to help us with this? We need another key card. This one doesn't work. But I imagine he wouldn't be leaving his key card around in random places. I tried his desk drawer, but of course it was locked. Bowman preferred physical keys to their digital counterparts. I'm trying to see if there's like buttons under the desk or something. <laughs> Turn dial. Oh, frick. That's the wrong dial. Rotate dial. Turn handle. Safe open. What is it? A vinyl? <laughs> vinyl unlocked. One out of eleven New Age Republic. That kind of flashed by really fast. I didn't even see it properly. <laughs> okay, well we got it. Well we got it. Bits of this just feel kind of bizarre because even opening the safe, we had to do all the, the turning the dial and then turning the handle and opening the door manually. But I'm sure it's like that for a reason. Right, so Alex's office was... Back out here. Boot disk detected. Boot from disk. Uh, was it like Spuff 7 or something?
complete. I couldn't press tab. And at that very moment, our lives changed forever. Steve, I've had a security alert. I've paged you the location. I think we gotta go. Character near you drone playing? Drone? What? What does that mean? There's no one here for now, right? I'm hoping we can escape back the way we came from. I want to view it, but I don't want to get caught, alright? I don't know where Steve's coming from. Yeah, I think we've done what we need to do for now. All we gotta do is escape. This way. Have we escaped? We have to escape the entire building though, so are you telling me this doesn't count? Hey, I walked all the way back here. Are you telling me I'm wrong? <laughs> no! Are you telling me I was supposed to go the other way? God damn it. Oh, I can't climb here. Frick, I guess we're not like a um, international thief or something. We can't we can't escape like this. No floppy disks detected. Can we open these windows? Cuz I did see a vent. Yeah, there's a vent there. But these windows aren't openable. Alright. Well, let's try to walk back to downstairs then. I don't know if the people are still investigating or... I don't see them for now. I actually haven't even been to the middle section, have I? belonged to the library and weren't allowed to be checked out. I always found it odd that the books we read were so highly monitored. This is some kind of weird authoritarian regime. <laughs> if we want to get out of here, maybe it's that one ID gate that we couldn't get past because we didn't have the right ID. I didn't want security to see me up there. They were already on edge from the server blowing. I know, but where do you want me to go? Oh, it's open now. Maybe the security people came and opened it. Tom Lumen. Can't get in. If I get caught here... I made my way downstairs. I work here, right? So it's sort of okay for me to be here? But probably not at this hour. Oh, I think that text is supposed to be like closed caption or something. Not like a message to me. It's just saying that the music is playing, maybe for people who have difficulty hearing. Hey, he walked right through. Okay, maybe we'll go this way. There's more people here. Vinyl, take it. Take it. But there's nothing. We can't.
Where'd he go? Women's toilet? I should have sensed something when I didn't see Dan at his desk. What are we gonna do? Where is Steve? We would be able to hide here? Hmm? Is there a vent in the back or something? Not that I can see. Um... I'm a little lost. It doesn't seem like Steve is still around though. fire exit was the only route out. Oh! That green glow was my only focus now. Once I was out, there was no way back in. The events that transpired next were out of my control. Well, we've made it out, I guess. Fire exit. Oh, Mrs. Carson, it's you. I didn't expect you to still be here. I'm crouching! I'm gonna have to report you in the system. I'm sure you understand. Shouldn't you be leaving, Mrs. Carson? Damn it, man. What do you think I'm trying to do right now? Read the room a little bit. Okay, well, we finished one section, so this might be a good place to uh, end off here for today. Mm, I feel like I'm quite intrigued, although I don't really know what the heck or where the heck they want to go with this. It seems like this lady is going to try to do something to stop the Union Act. I feel like I really like the atmosphere overall in the, the thrill and the hiding away from the security guards and stuff. But there's some little oddities here and there with the controls. Like, I'm just trying to read a note, but I don't know why it takes so much effort. Maybe it's because I'm not used to the system yet, and it'll all make sense in time. I'm not really sure. Oh, I do feel like I was intrigued by what I saw, though. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you want, and I guess we'll end off this first look for the occupation today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you next time. Bye!